Hello friends, today we are going to see how to get at least cutoff marks in JWE mains. See, this is not a video for those students who want to score a good in JWE mains and advanced. That means a very high score. This is not for them. So if you are for that in that category, then please don't watch this video. This video is especially for those students who only wants to score a good and healthy score that is a cutoff at least to score at least to clear a JWE mains. This is only for those students. Okay, there is a special video on uh, for that students. Now see if we are talking about cutoff marks, then let's see how it is important. How the cutoff marks in past year JWEs. Okay, so see this is the first this is from JWE mains 2030 cost cutoff scores. And as we see, for general category, the cutoff score is 113. For OBC, it's 70, SA is 50, STA is 45. Similarly, 14 and 15. For 14, for general category, cutoff score is 115. And for in 2015, in general category, the cutoff score is 105. Similarly, as for OBC, SC and ST, the cutoff scores are there. Similarly, for JWE 2016, the cutoff score is 100 for general category and OBC, SC and ST. Now, if we are talking about only general category, the OBC, SC, ST scores are respectively there. So let's talk about only general category. The highest score, highest cutoff score is in 2014, that is 115. So now let's take an assumption that the paper, the level of difficulty is same as the past four years. So now in this particular, in 2017 and for upcoming years, that is 2018 and 2019, the score is going to be, uh, the level of difficulty, let's say it's same for all these years. So let's say the, we assume the maximum cutoff score is let's say it's 120. From this day, the score is 115 highest, but we assume the score for this particular years is 120. So we have to score minimum 120 marks to clear a JWE image. That is my assumption that it's not a fixed score, but from past year, past data, this is the highest score that we can assume that is 120. Now we have three subjects are there. It's chemistry, match and physics. Now, if we talk about the difficulty levels, as per the common students, the difficulty level is always chemistry is almost uh, easy matches, always uh, tougher than chemistry. And the, for 90% of students, physics, as always the highest in the difficulty level so what we have to do for those students who just have to score a minimum 120 marks for them let they have to start with chemistry they have to give uh, one hour at least one hour for chemistry then one hour for math and for physics they try to solve some questions and if the time is remaining if the still the time is there then you have to go for match and chemistry then. So we have to distribution uh, of time like this. Then first one hour is for chemistry, then for one hour for match. And if you have to score in physics, and if you have ability to score, so then you go for physics. And then still if the time is remaining, then again, any doubts, then uh, any left questions to see in the last time, that is we are going for match and chemistry, okay? Now, uh, how we are going to score 120? This is the most important question. See, each and every student have at least two subjects to score 50 to 60 marks. Say so that says it's chemistry or match or it's match or physics or it's chemistry or physics. Let we assume that uh, you have weak, weaker in physics. Then what you have to do? You have to score 60, 60 in physics and chemistry sorry 60 60 in chemistry and match and let's say 20 or 10 marks in physics then you have score 130 and you clear the mains similarly for the respective three pairs okay now now i'm going to tell you which topics should you have to cover for score this 50 to 60 marks at least 50 to 60 marks in chemistry match and physics now let's start with chemistry because chemistry is the easiest all the time so these are the chapters we have to cover first of all it is mole concept 
there is always a one question from this chapter then it's coordinate chemistry one to two questions are there alcohol phenols compulsory two questions a very important chapter to cover p block elements two questions are there atomic structure one to two questions are there similarly uh, gaseous states one questions are there hydrocarbons two questions it's it's also an important question aldehyde and ketones one to two questions dnf block elements also again one to two questions general organic chemistry again two questions are there now see if you see the questions the number of questions are there then we have one one it's two four six seven then eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we have fourteen to eighteen questions by just covering this topics i'm not going to tell you cover all the topics 14 to 18 questions that means 14 into 4 that means you are going to score at least a 52 to let's say 70 marks in just chemistry session and that's a quite enough for those students who just only have to try to just clear the JW page okay so just concentrate on this particular topics and then you are going to clear JW image that is for sure now let's go for mathematics for mathematics the ratio is same and the chapters are limits and continuity one to two questions indefinite integration again one to two questions finite integration one question is there for lines and circle one one questions is there for application of derivatives again one to two question is there similarly for quadratic equations one to two questions application of integration one to two questions complex number again one to two questions and for coordinate geometry it's two questions are there this is a common number of questions asked in every JW mains. I'm not going again. I'm not going to tell you to cover all the topics, all the chapters. Again, if you see the number of questions here, it's also uh, ranging from 13 to 17. That means again, you are going to score 50 to 70 between 50 to 70 marks in mathematics session. Now, again, if you have time though, then you have to score. Uh, at least minimum 10 to 20 marks in physics then 50 marks in uh, 50 to 16 sorry 50 to 70 in chemistry 50 to 70 in math and then 10 to 20 in physics then it's going up to 130 and you will clear a JW page it's quite easy but you have the most important thing is what to cover some students uh, what most mostly students do they try to cover all the topics all the chapters each and everything please don't do that you don't need to cover all the topics and all the chapters you just need to cover uh, particular things which are continuously asking which are frequently asking in JW image okay similarly the important chapter for physics see physics is almost uh, always a tough for the students so these are the chapters to cover for physics fluid mechanics one to two questions thermodynamics two questions are there work energy power again two questions are there Electrostatics, two questions. Current electricity, two questions. Wave optics, one to two. And wave optics, two questions are there. If you see the questions number ranging here, then it's 5 and 5, 10 and 12. That means 12 to 15 questions. That means again 50 to 60 marks in physics. So if you cover at least this topics in each and every subject, you are going to score 50, minimum 50 marks in each subject. That means minimum. 150 marks in JW mains so you your score will be ranged from 150 to 180 so if you cover all the topics then you are clear uh, you are going to score between 150 to 200 in JW mains and if you just cover the two subjects here and then you are going to just clear a JW page so this is all about how we are going to clear a JW mains okay we don't need to cover all the subjects please don't do that Please cover only those chapters which are required. Okay. Uh, for match particularly, I can tell you if you watch all the videos on this YouTube channel, then you are definitely going to cover at least 50 to 70 marks. Okay. Uh, so this is all about this video. This is a very important video. How we are going to cover, how we are to, going to clear, how we are going to score at least cutoff marks in JW image. I am going to post one more video for uh, the tips and tricks to 
score good marks in JWE mains. Okay, so for that, keep watching and thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and hit that subscribe button. Thank you.